Here we go. This is the moment everyone's been waiting for. The GCS Grand Finals. Best of seven. Love Ness versus Devim. We are on crossroads. We've seen this game or this map pretty much in every uh, best of five. Very popular map, crossroads. This tournament. Love Ness has the Soviets in his load out. We've got counterattack tactics. We've got Lend Lease. And we've got Soviet Reserve Army. My favorite. What to expect? Two commanders with call and tanks and uh, reserve army. Got the tank hunter partisans, very popular. Also, the rapid conscription. I think Loveness is probably well aware of how powerful that is. Devin, on the other hand, has Ulster. He has mechanized assault, mobile defense, and lightning more. I think this is a bit out of date, mobile defense. Should probably be using Blitzkrieg these days. Puma not really required against uh, Soviets anymore since the T-70 got so many nerfs. Blitzkrieg offers the same command tank advantages as well as the Panzer Tactician but with the late game of the Stuklos air support, very good commander. There's the famous Devium Sniper taking shots at Loveness. Very low value comm engineers. Not going to cause him much manpower bleed. He misses that second shot on the garrison. He's got about 50% chance to miss there. So the Sniper on the field for Loveness. He went straight for a Sniper. Takes a long time to build that bad boy. And now he's going into penals. So both players going for the early snipes. At this stage of the game, I'd say Loveness has the edge. Because he's got the two-man sniper team. Until the Ossia sniper hits Vet 1 and gets the access to the incendiary shot. Devon's got to be really careful with that sniper. But he will be, because he's very good with snipers. Both these players probably... The these are probably the two best sniper users in the game today, honestly. You see there, the Soviet snipers have got very poor camouflage. Keeps coming out of camouflage as it runs down their light cover. But here come the penal troops to save the day. Soviet sniper turns and faces. Misses that shot. Tries to get a shot off as he approaches. Penal's get a nice burst on. Lots of damage onto the sniper. He's trying to soft retreat it. Needs to retreat. Oh, one more burst. And he gets it. The sniper's down. Oh my god. Sniper's down. Devium. Got so greedy there. Trying to soft retreat down a road. Horrible decision. And I suppose Loveness also got extremely lucky picking up the sniper. But very greedy stuff from Devium there. And that... That sets him way, way back. Now Loveness is actually getting into this garrison, so he doesn't take much damage and stick around with Snipe. That being said, you know, I think... Oh, it takes a while to open that up. All these sectors have been capped by DVM, so... At least he's got his territory under control, but losing a Sniper early, that is a crushing blow. Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. Yeah, well, see, it's interesting because he, I think he could have cancelled out. Uh, oh no, maybe he couldn't have cancelled one of the grenadiers. It looks like he's saving his manpower now for another sniper. That's a massive lead for Loveness early. You can't give Loveness a lead like that. Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks, crazy man. And just like that, Loveness goes for the cutoff. We do have a forward reinforcement tech structure here for DVM, so it should make it a bit easier pushing back onto his cutoff, but he's in a tough spot. Sniper almost complete, and it will pop out from this tech structure. It's one of the more recent changes, so it's going to be right there, ready to shoot, ready to snipe. Oh, when he completes the cap, that's really good. He's going to have to retreat now, but he gets the cap, cap done. Supplies. 
and he's also gone for the fuel. So really good stuff for Love Nest. It looks like he is in fighting form. Welcome to the show. Rebuilt Sniper gets its first kill, Loveness hiding behind the garrison blocking its line of sight. Only one window here firing as well, so this is a very good engagement for Love. Once again he's charging on the Sniper trying to get some damage on it, once again a soft retreat by Devium. He's going to make it to the cover, but remember you can't, you can't do this anymore. The uh, camouflage changes when it's in combat, it's not going to work that kind of soft retreating. You've got to have a unit nearby gunning these guys down as they approach. Keep your sniper, sniper safe. It's not going to recloak in those situations anymore. I'm not sure. If, not sure if Devium is actually aware of that change. These guys don't really like read the patch notes. It's kind of kind of frustrating. It's similar to like Aimstrong the other day didn't know how to sweep demo charges. Enemy forces are securing our territory. And Loveness embarrassed him by blowing up almost his entire army with demo charges. Looks like he's trying to get onto the retreat path. To finish that squad off but it's not going to get the job done and he's bleeding a lot of manpower to that sniper now four kills needs to be a, probably one more kill and then if he snipes a sniper model I think he will have enough experience to use the incendiary shot Loveness is charging forwards he knows that sniper's low trying to get a good lucky burst on it again Forces the retreat. No lucky burst this time, though. Ooh! Just so I say that, one more shot connects, but that's quite a lot of manpower bleed. Loses two miles attempting that. It's going to force the mid bunker, though, from DVM. He's got a tremendous amount of munitions, though. Usually, this is a real struggle for Hosea at this stage of the game to get a mid bunker, but this is a crossroads. Very high munitions map, very high resource map with those extra standard territory points. Has our two more than most other 1v1 maps leads to high resources than most other maps. The bunker is now a field hospital. That's everyone. Ready. So snipers back. Thanks. Completely healed up. At this stage, you know, most other players would probably have selected perhaps Lightning War and gone for some G43s. I think Devium needs to get weapon upgrades right now. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to fight these penals very effectively with his Grenadiers. It's going to make his sniper usage a bit harder. So imagine if these were G43 Greens, they, this penal squad would already be dead. Right? Loveness wouldn't be attempting this at all. Where's Lovely Sniper? Okay, it's up there now as well. Getting some shots in. Still big VP lead for Loveness. Look at that. Really over 100 VPs gone for DVM. Sniper looks like I retreated so I could rotate to the other side quickly. good snipes in on the combat engineers this is usually the period of time where we see some demo charges and it looks like Love has spent some munitions somewhere yeah, he's got one demo there I think he could probably afford one more I've not seen it, he has spent some munitions on the flamethrower as well I feel like he probably has planned another one somewhere but I just haven't seen it I'm not going to miss the action. I'm looking for demo charges. We did see my sweepers though for DVM. So he knows if he's pushing onto the side of the map, he needs a sweeper. But he's probably the master of the demo charge. I've seen him use it so effectively this tournament. And I think the Soviets, honestly, it can be sometimes quite hard to get score wipes without the demo charge. 
since they nerfed T70. Until you get to the T-34, I feel like it's quite a challenge to get our squad rights right to Soviets these days. Welcome to the show. Our are a 11 kills for that sniper, tremendous kill rate, 14 for Loveness, and that's been on the field for a lot longer, remember, this was a rebuilt sniper. He's, he's dodging the damage charge. I don't know if he spotted that with the sweep squad that had to retreat, but he, he's just avoiding the common spot. If you were to right click, that's where you'd head straight to that point where um, he's just placed it, so he's gone off to the side to avoid it. But if he retreats, I think he will be close enough to. Oh, he baits him over it! Oh, but he didn't blow it. Why didn't he blow it? Why didn't he blow it right there? Miss Micro by love. Oh, yeah, there's one. Demon charge on his cutoff. Okay. Missed opportunity there. That could have been a squad right. I don't think you'd be that greedy not to take it right there. Probably just a miss. Got four grenadiers, so no machine gun from DVM. T70 coming for Loveness, so I think this is probably a good decision. T70 does have better anti infantry than the AEC that we saw from Hans earlier. Is worth is worth getting to deal with infantry. Not as powerful as it used to be, and it's more expensive these days as well, but still pretty good in this situation as well, pretty pretty powerful. That being said, the CP clocks come along quite quickly. He always always gotta try and defuse it. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> why? Why did he try and defuse it? Why didn't he attack ground it? Does he not know how to destroy demo charges as well? If he just attacked it instead, he would have a nice crater to use this to cap whenever you know he was trying to harass the fuel as well. Attacking is always better than trying to sweep if it's on your opponent's territory. Like that just that is horrible, man. That is horrible play from Devin. Oh, for Mother Russia. He's popped it and he's chasing after the sniper with it. This is, gives, gives you some good combat buffs. Trying to kill that sniper with his penals. You see the buffs here. Oh, it's gone. Oh no. Sniper down though. Why Why isn't Devin retreating his squads? Why isn't he retreating his sniper? He keeps trying to soft retreat it. And it keeps backfiring on him. That's something he's going to have to revise in games going forward. Oh, he loses another squad, loses the Grenadiers. Camp down on the cutoff here is Love. Pack coming on for DVM. But, uh. Honestly, it's too. I mean, look at this 27 to 42. Big tech advantage for Love Nest. Huge army size advantage. So uh, this one's all but over. Full Mother Russia, very strong. This is one of the main reasons you go for this commander as well. I said before, you know, obviously going for the call and comes in handy in many situations, but so does Full Mother Russia. Gives you some very powerful buffs. I thought I thought I had the description of it on this through my numerical veterancy descriptions, but apparently not. So remind there. Down just one model. Gonna get the neutralized on the VP. Probably has to retreat after that. Or lose his squad. Oh. Yeah, he, he just can't even make his way out of the base now. Oh, I've probably gonna see up a triple cap. P4 command tank for DVM. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. P4 command tank. He's gone for mobile defense. This is one thing. That uh, can actually fight quite effectively. It looks like Lovnus perhaps heard that through the fog of war and he fields himself a KV-1. Didn't go for that beforehand, but it's going to go for it now to counter the P4 command tank. I think if you can afford it, going for the T-34 in this situation makes it a little bit more sense. Better against anti-infantry will perform better against the pack. But he can't really afford to spend that time going for the tech. And then building a T34. 
needs to get his uh, get his tank on the field right now to count as count as P4 command tank and finish the game out early. Don't give DVM a chance to get back in. P4 command tank chunking here. Seven kills already. Getting some massive hits and a useful mother rusher. Doesn't have the munitions for a sticky satchel. I think that's what he's going for there, but ran out of munitions. So that's cost a hundred. Quite expensive. Worth it though, very powerful ability, but can't forget its cost. And here's the KV1. So it does have a higher rate of fire than the T-34, but it's a machine gun, not as powerful. But maybe that's not even going to matter. P4 command tank, one shot from death. Miss. Oh, T-70 flanking the pack, gonna clear that out. He's Now he's charging up, going for the sticky satchel, but for Mother Russia runs out. T-70 try, <laughs> trying to duke it out, but the pack did get... Oh, I thought he was going to get suppressed before he could steal it. Somehow, KV-1 keeps missing. Connecting with the shock blocker there. T-70 takes engine damage. Pack's not going to be stolen. Here's the Puma trying to save the day. Probably can take care of the T-70, but uh, he's got to be careful. T-70, I think if it penetrates one more time. Oh, demo charge. On the cutoff. Squad down, and uh, that's going to be the game. Devon goes down to Loveness in game one of the GCS finals. There was a pretty convincing win of it by uh, Loveness, and Devon's going to have to up his game, especially his sniper game, if he hopes to defeat Love. Recording, yes. Game two. Oh my god, another donation. Another donation. It's still pretty damn loud, isn't it? That one is from. Oh my god, it's taking ages to load. Warmonger, 35 bucks. Thank you very much, Warmonger. Now I, I turned, I almost, like, I reduced it by a third. Should have been, I don't, at least I don't think it was quite as bad as last time. I'll re review it after this game. It doesn't matter. Thank you very much, Warmonger, and uh, into the match. Game two between DVM and Lovenest on Crossroads. We have DVM as US Forces, his famous US Forces. He's sporting heavy cavalry. The DVM edition of Armour Company. Look at that ugly mug. <laughs> and Meganize Company. Facing off against him is Loveness is OKW, who has special operations, fortifications, and Luftwaffe ground forces. He's gone for a Kubel. Very strong on this map for those cutoff plays and very strong against US forces as well. Do you have Meganize in the loadout though? WC51 does counter the Kubel pretty effectively. It's just whether you want to commit to that because it doesn't have such a strong late game as the Pershing or even the uh, Wolverine. It's generally not really worth going for the OC51 just to counter one Kubel. Perhaps if you could see double Kubels, but I don't think Loveness is a double Kubel type of player. This is a good engagement, Kubel against rifles. That's the kind of engagement you want to take with the Kubel. You don't really want to be fighting the rear echelon who are a bit cheaper to reinforce. Got a rifle squad waiting for orders. Who actually performed quite well against Kubel. But some aggressive play here from Loveness going for the cutoff. Straight away, this is what you want to do with your Kubel. If you use forces. See up shop on the cutoff. Try force them to engage against the Kubel, then pull it back for repairs. Bleed their manpower, take nothing in return. But this has cost him his own map control, so he hasn't caught, get, kept up on his side. And perhaps DVM realizing that actually going over to the other side now. Let's try and uh, cap over there, get some fuel under his con under his control, because he does like going for Lieutenant DVM. 
And the M20 is a pretty good counter to the Kubel itself. Only if you can get it in time though. This would be telling what DVM does with his manpower now. He's going for another rifle squad. So it's definitely not going to be a fast lieutenant from him. Going for four rifles is the hallmark of captain play. But I uh, can also go four rifles if you're going for the A half track. But I don't think I don't think Devium's gonna go for the A half track. Not many people use it. But it's this is pretty nice. Especially if your opponent goes for like a four truck. And uh, you, you go for it, you catch them out when they don't have a uh, Rakin, you can actually kill their truck by suppressing all incoming units before they build their Rakin and just knocking it down with the auto cannon on, on the A half track. Probably not that relevant on this map, but is more relevant on maps where they will go for the Ford med base. It's happened to me and I've done to other players before, even uh, even on this patch where the A half track did receive a few small nerfs. So Lovni is actually taking some really nice engagements here. It's got really good superior cover there, forcing away that rifle squad. He's got up close and personal with the stern ponies, but they're getting focus fired by two rifle squads, taking a lot of damage. Kubel not actually contributing in this fight. I thought it was, and that's probably going to result in the loss of this fight for Loved. He's got, no, he's got another squad of folks arriving, but at this range, the riflemen are stronger. Yeah, squad has to retreat as well. I think if the Kubel was actually fighting earlier in that fight, maybe the uh, Fox communities could have stuck around there. Wouldn't have really helped that much. Wouldn't have been able to do much more capping, but... Where did the Kubel go? He's backed it away. He's going to be fighting those guys. And look at this, that's what we'd call model drops. He was at five models, now rapidly decreases down to two. But they did quite a lot of damage taking out two models themselves on that Fortunity squad. Who actually retreats, which is kind of surprising, but it looks like he's going to try to use his Kubel to cap and just uh, try and return them back to full health. So, you know, if you're fighting a full man rifle squad with just. Uh, just a three-man fox trinity, you're not going to have a chance of winning. And he doesn't have that much more territory to gain on this side of the map with the fox trinity, so there's no real point in keeping him on the field there. If he needs a cap, yes, keep them on the field, cap, but he doesn't. So he may as well retreat, bring them back on full. To fight the uh, full, full strength riflemen. And they will be full strength soon because that is a early ambulance from DVM. He's got quite a lot of wounds on his squads and it's also a mechanized truck for love going out so we're probably going to see looks he's actually a bit late on this timing could have had the looks out probably probably about now his fuel control has been insanely good this game it doesn't quite have the manpower to do it but maybe if you sacrifice reinforcing of two or three squads there might have been able to squeeze it out a bit earlier so devium has gone for the bazooka expecting this and he's going to need to lean on that bazooka because he's nowhere near the amount of fuel required for a Stuart may even have to go for an anti-tank gun before getting the Stuart and that's that's trouble because it's hard to squeeze in an anti-tank gun an ambulance four rifles and then a Stuart in, uh, in a reasonable time frame it's just too much manpower Which is why we saw Lovnis the other day go for a three rifle captain strat to get out of fast anti tank gun. Big push by Love, getting very aggressive. And uh, looks like it's paying dividends here, forcing away a few squads, getting onto that cutoff. He's getting shredded over here though. Can't send his Kubel in there with the bazooka nearby. Yeah, Nizos ECGs, he's upgraded one now. He's actually using the medic crates as well, so it's going to be burning through his munitions. This one should get away alright. But yeah, excellent fuel control from Lovness, good harassment, really delaying that Stuart from DVM. So this looks is going to have probably about a two minute window without the Stuart being on the field to get some damage done. And DVM realizing that actually going for the anti tank gun now. 
before the uh, steward even shows his, I mean not steward, he looks, even shows his face before he probably even heard it through the fog of war. He realised the poor position he was in and went for the anti-tank gun preemptively. Good decision by him. You can, you know, generally time it around eight minutes. But as we said, Loveness could have got this out even earlier with its excellent fuel control. He's just a bit late to making his tech structure. Mines down for Love. Kind of surprising. I probably wouldn't have gone for this myself. Probably wouldn't have gone for the STGs. But this will be good preparation for when the steward eventually arrives. It's just maybe he thinks Devium has more fuel than he actually does. That's why he's gone for the mines. But it's also good to get them when you're, your opponent's not on the field. And you have a little, little risk of being spotted whilst planting them. We do have a sweeper already for DVM though. Something you want to do immediately as US forces, as soon as, as soon as you can, just get that sweeper on your rear echelon. Look at all, look at all these mines. Loveness has planted like a bazillion mines. I was like, where, why doesn't he have more STGs? I know he's using med crates, but he surely hasn't used that many munitions because he's planted just a, a river of mines all over the map. So he's well prepared for that Stuart. But he has been bleeding quite a lot of manpower from his Fox unit. He's trying to keep up this aggression. aggression. He's also a uh, Gone for the battle group HQ. Oh! Oh my god! How did that not die? Was that the bazooka connecting second there? I think that was the. Oh my god, that was. That was the bug that I was talking about before. Uh, not during stream though, but. Uh, see, the bazooka, usually they would kill, right? Two anti tank gun shots, three, six, oh, 320 damage, plus the bazooka, 80 damage. 400 health on the looks should add up but bazooka got the last hit and there's a there's, there's a bug where if a handheld anti tank gets the last shot and doesn't get the kill in the first like roughly two thirds of its damage it won't actually kill the enemy's vehicle very strange bug but that's what exactly why the looks are still alive there bazooka got the last hit and it wasn't in the first two thirds of the damage, it was exactly full damage that it would would get the kill. So it didn't actually get the kill there. Lovnis gets extremely lucky that that bug exists. But some really nice anti tank gun positioning by Devon, and also too risky for Lovnis bringing his looks there and keeping it around there for too long. ECG is coming online for Lovnis. And uh, now he's starting to win those infantry engagements a lot more convincingly. But we actually saw Devim take the lieutenant and uh, field himself that 50 cal. It means he's definitely going for call and he's probably going to be armor company because he's so far behind right now. Can't afford to wait for that Pershing. He's going to have to go for the M10s. Gives him the extra squad, extra combat squad, and also the 50 cal. Very powerful in Tokyo W. Could have used weaknesses. Always been suppression. And 50 cows received several buffs, so his lifespan made it a lot better. Just how much damage is Loveness going to be able to do before Devium hits 7 CPs? Or 8 CPs actually now that Wolverine actually got, it, got increased a little bit. It used to be 7. It used to be 6, I think, actually. But they kept kept increasing it because that was a bit ridiculous. Looks actually getting super aggressive going all the way into the base. Probably spotted the anti tank gun over here. Knows he's only got to worry about an anti tank grenade. Kiting effectively, very effectively. Lovnest is bleeding a lot of manpower in these engagements, though, and 
Now we do have the free squads from US forces making up a lot of ground here for DV. But the aggression is kept up. Lovnis has invested once again into more tech going for the Schwer HQ covering his cutoff in a slightly aggressive position that is vulnerable I feel to 240mm artillery in that position looks like that re oh, and re echelon goes down nice pick up there for love but the tides have been turning slowly towards DVM and uh, he's getting very close to 8 CPs. Once that Wolverine hits, the looks is going to be very hard for Lovnis to use. Doesn't have enough fuel for a uh, Panzer IV yet himself. And may not even want to go for the Panzer IV. Doesn't perform that well against the Wolverine, honestly. Probably going to have to go for a, a Kittenworth and try stall for the Panther. Or he could also go straight for the Command Panther. He's getting pretty close to 10 CPs. That's a bit more expensive in terms of fuel though, and in that time the Wolverine could get a bit more damage done. It's about a minute's worth of fuel extra to save that Command Panther. But yeah, you can really feel, like, the reason why Lovin is so far behind is because he's invested so much into tech. He's gone for all three stages of tech. It's a lot of resources. Here goes the Kubel. It's hurting his army size, especially compared to these free squads. And uh, Lux hasn't been doing that much manpower damage, only 6 kills on it. Considering, you know, it's been on the field for 6 minutes. 6 kills in 6 minutes. It's not a very good kill rate, I feel. Definitely want to have a larger manpower impact than that. It's going for the crush, the famous M10 crush. Did receive a few nerfs, it's turning speed is uh, not quite what it used to be but it's uh, still got a very high top speed still one of the better crushing vehicles in the game due to its high top speed even though it's turning turning speed is not quite as good looks like it's going to go for another crushes here yeah and forces the retreat there from love i'm just actually going for the yak panzer 4 that's not something i expected Quite vulnerable to getting flanked by the M10. I can't believe the. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't believe it's bouncing so many of those Shrek HQ shots. I just think the incendiary grenade off. That's important because you have a lot of trouble pushing into that building otherwise. Because the 50 cal with the AP rounds can actually force away the looks quite effectively from a building. So very important he got the incendiary grenade off. The Egg Panzer 4 is on the field now. Let's see if he runs over one of these mines with the M10. They'll probably spell the end of the Wolverine's life. And remember, no more sweepers for DVM. He lost his free echelon, so this mine is probably going to be hit by something. I don't think he's going to rebuild the rear echelons. He's going to save his resources for another Wolverine. Hope to overwhelm Love Nest with his no tech corns. And that's one of the problems with Go 2, you know. Love Nest has had such a large map control advantage. But uh, it's not going to amount to that much because of the no tech corns. Like four minutes or so worth of fuel advantage just oh, just doesn't even matter that much because of the no tech corns. Looks trying to go for the wipe here. And he gets it. Nice pick up there. Yak Pants fall in a nice position. M10 perhaps going to run over the mine. No, not quite. It's going to take a foul. It's going to go down to the Yak Pants of four. Nice play by Love Nest well executed maneuver there and DVM is on the ropes after that Commanders, be 
Oh, that's going to be a white though in return on his vet. Vet four fox friend is. And another M10 for DVM. So yeah, he's he's not out of this one yet with that wipe on the false screen. He's staying relevant. And you know, all it would take is for Love Nest's Jack Panzer IV to get out of position and flanked by the M10 and DVM will be back in the lead. This is where mines become even more important for Love Nest. He needs to plant even more of those. He's got to worry about those M10s. He probably needs a squad of Obers right around now. Let's try and uh, do a bit more anti infantry damage. Yeah, there we go for Obers. For love. Oh, Jagdpanzer 4 gets a cheeky shot on there. It's gonna take engine damage. No, it's not. Thought he'd stick around for the Faust there. Perhaps he thought it was bait for the anti-tank gun, which was up here before, just a few moments ago. Trying to avoid that 50 cal as Love Nest trying to play on the sides. He actually didn't go for weapon upgrades on one of these false community squads. Maybe he wants to keep that with its uh, weapon slot open, just in case DVM ends up dropping any weapons. Wants to go after this wounded M10. He's bringing his Jagdpanzer around, but there's an anti tank gun nearby. It's going to be shutting down that Jagdpanzer play. 50 cal is there to hold the advance of these Fox Trinities as well. Oh, but here comes the looks. This could be this could be the uh, the big moment here if he flanks the flanks the anti tank gun with his looks. This could be the game. He's going after the captain. He really wants to get that wipe. He's actually going to try kill the 50 cal. And he's smashing it down so quickly. M10's nowhere to be seen. Back for a Pierce. There goes the 50 cal. He wants to steal it. But will he get away with this Vet 5 folks? Devium gives up. And he's actually just trying to stop the weapon theft there. I think he probably had time to focus that squad down and then focus the machine gun. But oh well better to avoid losing that but those overs arrived just in the nick of time rifleman with no weapon upgrade stand very little chance against overs if they had the bars that would have been probably DVMs but look how much munitions he has no bars he's got 500 munitions it's not like it costs that much fuel that much manpower to get weapon upgrades it's a big mistake by DVM not going for bars. Probably would have kept held hold of his uh, 50 cal if he had those bars right there. And yeah, it's a, it's a massive shame to see him floating so much munitions when bars, you know, it's what, 15 fuel for weapon upgrades. I can understand not getting grenades, which is 25 fuel. But 15 fuel, man, come on. Saved all that. Oh, he has got grenades. Oh yeah, I did see him throw a grenade over here on some folk treaties. That's right. Now I remember. Oh, you should throw some more because <laughs> he's got 500 munitions. I know this is quite expensive, but... Well, DVM, just under 200 VPs remaining. Got just about enough resources for another Wolverine though. He's actually going for another 50 cal. But uh Lovness got 50 cal himself now. Yak Panzer once again in an excellent position for Loveness forcing away the M10. He's really been on point with his Yak Panzer positioning. Yeah, he can't complete the cap there. Look at look at how slow a squad with no STGs vets up. That's actually kind of interesting. Oh, 
But DVM is managing the VP game quite quite well considering how far behind he is. Love just has such a strong start on the back of that Kubel. It's very yeah, very rare to see OKW pressured that much with just one Kubel. Usually it takes two, but Loveness just playing out of his mind right now. So 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 efficient with this play. Jack Panzer for once again in a nice position to snipe the Wolverine. Wolverine wants to go after the looks, but that's on the other side. But the M1 anti tank gun gets decrewed there. Opens up the Jack Panzer to continue the chase. DVM has to abandon. And just start his retreat. Or we'll risk losing that. I think for DVM this key to get back in this game, or well, he's gone for a bulldozer. I think this key to get back into this game is actually uh, his 50 cal positioning. He says, you know, be mobile with it, suppress a lot of squads. Without getting flanked. I think if he can do that, he's still got a very good chance of winning. Harvest. Looks like he's going for the King Tiger. So hasn't gone for the Panther yet. Has gone for Luftwaffe ground forces, which is a pretty rare sight. Does have the Valiant Assault, but this isn't actually that good, honestly. <laughs> it's not even very good. It's like, I think it gives it's like a small accuracy buff. I think it might be like 20% in sprint. So it's kind of like a more more expensive tactical tactical movement. But you know having sprint does come in handy if you're trying to get a Faust off on a tank. Oof. It's got the 50 cal upgrade on the M10 might as well on the, on the M10 on the bulldozer might as well because 500 munitions in the bank. Gotta spend it. Looks like he is using the Valiant Assault right now to get a cap going. He's just sprinted in the back lines, going straight for the VPs, trying to finish the game on VPs before Devian can grind his way back into the game. misses the follow-up shot but yeah him one was on the wrong side of the map there now rotating to try to get the job done actually going to go down to the stern pioneers it looks like he pans before gets flanked by the m10 we've got one squad coming needs to get his other squad coming needs two two squads there to, to get the engine damage it's like m10 he's got out maneuver he's gonna bait him over one of these mines though oh that's the end of the m10 Stimpine is still alive. Hinch tank gun has been decrewed by Stim Pioneers. Bulldozer couldn't get the job done there. I don't think uh, DVM was really microing it, honestly. Too busy using his M10. And uh, that could be the game, honestly. Some uh, very impressive maneuvering with his Jagdpanzer IV there. And uh, good mine placement. Sealing the face of that Wolverine. Yeah, he did. He also biffed up the micro on his M10. He had he was behind the Egg Panzer IV. He should have been able to uh, seal the seal the deal there. Might have still lost his M10 in the process, but probably should have been able to uh, knock it out there. But also got really unlucky. A lot of shots on the on the move missing for the MT. It looked like yeah, that range. Well, here comes King Tiger. That's the game ender. Just one M1 into ten gun. He cannot stand against King Tiger.
Yeah, Divium is uh, really playing quite poorly. I agree. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Yeah, I know I don't have follow alerts on screen. I would have them turned off, but I don't know why the sound is playing. And the, uh, because I don't have uh, the alerts on the scene. And I think they should be playing, but I'm not going to try to fix it. It's not that. It's not that big of an issue. Well, we got smoke to try and cover the retreat. Remember, you can't. If you drive your tank into US forces smoke, it actually prevents the tank from firing. So maybe DVM could just use that to help himself. But he's getting very low on VPs. There is the armor company artillery, the 240mm. There are. NG bombs. Looks like that first shell off target. But it's uh, going to be very risky for Leibniz to send a squad into the danger zone. Yeah, he decides against it. Doesn't want to lose his Vet 5 Fox. Maybe if they're Vet, Vet 0, you've seen them in there. But Vet 5, you got to be thinking, hmm, this is a bit too important of a squad to lose it. I think there's one more shell to fall after this one. Even valiantly trying to hang on. He's got enough fuel for another empty, and he just doesn't have the manpower. He's bleeding so much. Just trying to keep the VPs in his control. Can't afford the empty. Gone for, he's he's gone for a second anti tank gun. At least he used the Sabo rounds. Might as well. He's got enough munitions. <laughs> I keep saying it. So it increases the penetration now. By, uh. I think it's by 30%. Pretty significant increase. Only 30 munitions as well. Maybe it's 50%, it's, it's a significant amount. And you really need that extra penetration against the King Tiger's heavy frontal armor. Second highest armor in the game after the yeah, Tiger, I believe. The same frontal armor as the uh, Ice 2. Not that we ever see those anymore. This could be a wipe. Well, those are pretty bad at firing on the move though, needs to use the tap ground on it. Oh, did the wolf? Did I'm pretty sure the bulldozer just got the kill there. It did. Vehicles destroyed one. Lol. Heroic stuff there. Look at these overs. Oh, they just took a massive hit. Vet four. Overs in trouble. But King Tiger back there. Oh, both of them. Both these tanks doing heavy infantry damage. 28 kills on the King Tiger already. Compare that to the 19 on the Bulldozer, which has been on the field for like three times as long. Hey, Panzer 4 comes in. Didn't get in range for the anti tank grenades. But Ludden just, just needs to steady the ship here. He's trying to close the game out. He needs to just, you know, come, come back onto the field with his tanks at full health, his infantry at full health. 
and make a more decisive push. Because DVM is hanging on. King Tiger is 375. I thought I thought it was the same as the elephant and the egg tiger had more. But maybe the elephant's got a bit more. Indeed, what Lovinius has done, he's reinforced all the stuff, he's ready for another attack, he's activated Valiant Soul, because his squad's access to the sprint. Can target charging head on once again into two inch tank guns, but this time we've got double Saborans activated early. This inch tank gun hasn't fired once. Probably bunt. That's unfortunate. Let's use Valiant Assault to flank the anti tank guns with his infantry. Bulldozer trying to stop this. With them going to be decrewed by the Obers. No, Obers have to retreat just before they decrew the second one, but King Tiger finishes his job. With two anti tank guns decrewed, Deviant has nothing. He's got nothing left. Look, he's, got, he's lost his squads. He's lost his anti tank guns. And he's losing the VPs. He's lost the game. Called in the Desperation M10. Looks like it's going to catch a Faust here. No, it's too fast for that. But, uh, what's it even going to do? Takes the Jagdpanzer 4 shot. He's blocking his own tank. King Tiger just walks on forwards. Oh, God. <laughs> so... So rough. That King Tiger is really... Sealed the deal for love. 42 kills on that bad boy already. And yeah, Deviant calls it quits with that. He's got nothing left. So Love Nest up 2 0. Some very strong, some, like very, very strong play from Love Nest. And some honestly r substandard play from Deviant. Not what we expect to see from him.